Because some SEO tactics take a while to bring traffic to your site, sometimes it's hard to track whether your SEO campaign is working or not, especially if you're outsourcing the process to an SEO company. One thing you can do, though, is to ask the SEO company to provide you with the metrics regarding the SEO campaign, and some of these metrics can be more useful than others. You can ask for the number of links that have been built, for instance. Ask for the page rank of the pages where those links have been built, although page rank is now largely a depreciated measure. And use everything you've learned in this video series to ensure that those are high quality links and not just link spam. You need to think about long term results, not a short term boost. And you can track changes in your position in the SERPs, that's the search engine results pages. Many SEO companies will use tracking software which lets them see your site climbing the rankings for different terms over time. They can use these to deliver you a report showing how your site has climbed since their intervention. If you're handling your own SEO, you might still choose to use a tracking tool in order to keep an eye on your success over time and ensure that your efforts are getting results. But what does any of this tell you? Because here's something else to consider. Getting to the top of Google is not the end goal. Even if you get to the top of Google, there's no guarantee this will bring more profits for your business because you need to ensure that the people finding your content are targeted and that those people are converting. Or to put it another way, all that really matters is the bottom line. If you're a business and you're paying for SEO, you'll need to know that you're getting more sales because of that SEO and you're earning more money. This way, the SEO is offering ROI, which means it's been money well spent. Savvy companies track the ROI of their SEO spend by using a tool called Google Analytics. This is the most well-known analytics tool for webmasters and marketers, and one particularly useful feature it has is the ability to set a goal and then track the traffic that makes it to that goal. If you're trying to sell a product, your goal might be the thank you page people get directed to after a purchase. This allows you to see not only that you're getting more traffic, but also that you're getting more targeted traffic that's actually converting. Better yet, Google Analytics will be able to tell you where those converting visitors come from, and specifically, you'll be able to see if someone who used your search term eventually ended up buying your product. These are people who have bought products from you because of your SEO efforts. If you hire an SEO company to help you rank for a certain search term, you're probably missing the point. A better way to approach this is to hire an SEO company to help you increase your profits or your brand awareness. Thus, the very best SEO companies are those which use a combination of different marketing tools, combining everything from SEO to social media to brand management. Part of this is choosing the right search terms. So, if you let your SEO company choose your search term and they don't increase your profits, they might be good at ranking, but it's not a good strategy. It's important to know whether ranking for the particular phrase you're interested in is actually going to translate into tangible results. The same is true if you're doing SEO on your own. And one way you can check how successful your SEO is likely to be before you spend lots of time and or money on it is to use PPC. PPC is, of course, pay-per-click. This is a type of advertising that involves paying each time someone clicks on an advert and visits your site. The two most popular PPC choices right now are Google AdWords and Facebook ads. It's equally important that you use analytics in your own SEO campaigns for the very same reasons. Good SEO is about constant iteration and seeing which actions are having the best impact on your tracking. Struggling to rank for a certain term? Then you can consider aiming for another one. 
Finding that people from an unexpected search term are converting more highly than those from other search terms? Then it might be time to switch gear and start trying to rank for that phrase instead. Setting up Google Analytics is thankfully rather simple. First, you need to head over to Google Analytics, which is google.com forward slash analytics. And then you'll need to add a small tracking code to each page of your site. If you're using WordPress, you can also use a plugin to do this. Then you can set up your view, which will let you choose which stats you want to look at. Some useful things to look at here are your audience overview, and this is key data regarding who is looking at your site, which can help you to better target specific demographics. Acquisition, this is where your traffic's coming from. Real time, which shows you how many people are on your site right now. And the aforementioned goals.